Hi, welcome to another face reading caricature video. Uh, my first video, I looked at Boris Johnson, trying to find out what might be going on in his life. What kind of life has he led to make him the person he is today? And so today I thought in the interest of parity and political impartiality, I'm going to look at the face of the opposition leader, which is uh, Keir Starmer. But now a lot of his the criticisms he's facing today are that he's very right wing, he's abandoned the trade unions, he's more focused on donations from big business. So we're going to be looking to see how that has affected the story of his face. And we can see how the generosity, like he's a, he's a generous person and he's a lot more, the eyes here are a lot more open on his left side. So this is the side that is his kind of real self kind of thing. Even the bridge of his nose is a lot thicker, whereas here the eyes are a lot more they're tiny, which shows that he's a lot more reserved in public. There's not much space between them. His mouth is a lot tighter, a lot, a lot shorter and a lot tighter, which makes sense because he was a lawyer. So it makes sense that he doesn't give the game away, so to speak. So he's very, he is literally tight-lipped. And he's also got a very small bridge to the nose on this side, which is strange. It implies that he hasn't got much physical strength. He's not someone who would ever make money as a, a physical labourer. He's very much an intellectual kind of guy. We've got some interesting lines here, which I'll talk about a bit later. We can also see one more thing I'd like to point out is how much wider his head is in his private side, meaning that he is a very open-minded person. And we kind of know that in a way. Let's go back here and see his eyes. Right. So if I was to draw a line, we can see. Okay. Interesting. So one of his eyes turns up a little bit. We can see it goes... His eye line there. This one's actually more steady. If someone has two kind of steady eyes like this, it shows that they have a, a balanced view of the world. If the outer canthus goes up, they usually seem optimistic. If they have a kind of eye that goes down, hard to draw it over here. If it kind of goes down like that, so the outer canthus is down and their eye is like that, they kind of seem pessimistic. And it's almost how you'd see it in a caricature. You know, if I, if I had a character, if I gave him two eyes like that, flipped it around. Whoops. <laughs> if you were to draw a character like that and then give him a nose and a, a mouth, you know, you can see. So he's kind of got an optimistic, he's more optimistic in private than he is in public. In, pu in public, again, this is probably to do with him being a lawyer and now a politician. He wants to present himself as very even-handed. Not too generous. Someone who doesn't give the game away too much, which is why his mouth is much tighter on the... Again, his mouth is much tighter on the left-hand side. If we were to sort of try and get this in the middle. You can see his face is much narrower on the right. You can almost see it on his mouth as well. It's, it's tighter here. That's kind of more in the middle. He's got kind of a slightly wonky nose, which could imply uh, back problems.
But I do find it interesting how our politics do kind of mark our face in a way. And likewise with the careers we choose. So hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope this caricature kind of captures... <laughs> It's a weird one. He is hard to do. Like I said, I've been looking at some caricatures of him. And even the spitting image puppet, when they brought the series back, had a Keir Starmer puppet. And it didn't quite look... To me, his puppet looked like a Piers Morgan puppet, even though they already had a Piers Morgan puppet. So we'll see what happens. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope we've learned to uh, approach people that we may not always agree with, with some compassion and understanding. And I think that's the important underlying message here. And hopefully my caricaturing skills will improve in time for the next video where we won't be talking about politics. We're going to choose something a lot more lighthearted and knock about, I hope. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Feel free to like the video or subscribe. I'm going to try and knock out on these little videos every Sunday if I can. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.